Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. Any questions as to what it is that I do, how do I do it, um, services that I provide, etc., etc., down below in the description. So we are back with our general readings. We have Virgo. So Virgo, your song is No Time to Die by Billy something i'll put it in the description as always um <clears throat> the verse is you were my life but life is far away from fair Ooh, let's see what does the water have to reveal from us today Ooh. There is um, something, someone that um, Virgos are trying to hold on to um, by like any means possible. If this is a person, this is a person that has um, never truly committed to be with you before. This is a person that um, has always had you... Um, kind of like in a limbo type of sense kind of like mm, yes mm, no but i love you but i don't want to commit to you or th that kind of um energy is what i'm picking up or you the virgo is doing this to somebody else again however it may fit but it's like somebody is not willing to give up on on what they feel is theirs, on what they feel that this connection has, um, like they feel that they are entitled to this connection, they feel that they are entitled to this person. So therefore, there is one person within this energy that does not want to give up. Um, if this is a job or a situation that, you know, involves oof, other people and <clears throat> if this is a situation that involves a job or involves like you know a ton of people and there's something that you um you know the virgo whoever it is that is watching does not want to lose does not want to let go of then you have to really um Take some time and really see why it is that you are so attached to this job. Why are you so attached to this specific thing? Are you, you know, are you attaching yourself to a house, to a car, to a person, or to a job, or anything just because there's something within yourself that you do not want to realize? Is there something within yourself that you do not want to work on? It's like, how is it that um, I've invested all of this time? How is it that I, I invested, um, I've put in this much work and I've done this much and I've done that much and I've this and I've that and now you're going to tell me that we have to go our separate ways. Like, how is that possible? And it's like someone's heart right now is pulling them in a different direction. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's pulling them in a, separate, in, a, in a different direction because they no longer love you. It is just maybe it is time for them to work on themselves. Maybe it is time for them to learn to love themselves first. Because there is someone within this dynamic, within this energy, that have they truly have never learn what true self-love is they they know how to pretend to love other they know how to pretend to care for others but they themselves do not know what true self-love is what true self-worth is because they have never allowed themselves the time to heal the time to um bear everything out in front of themselves and really truly see themselves for who they are 
So it's either this person is realizing that within themselves or the person that they're with are realizing that this person uh, manipulates and doesn't truly love and is choosing to pull away or is choosing to move away from, you know, this connection or from this relationship because of the simple fact that they do not want to be manipulated anymore. They do not want to be used anymore. And, you know, when it comes to whatever it is within this relationship, it's like it's ha it has always been um, a back and forth. There has always been um, energies of like a third party situation, meaning that there has always been someone or something interfering within this connection, whether it be um, work, whether it be another person, whether it be children, or just time in itself. But that interference, all of those interferences and all of those um issues within this relationship have been there for a reason and it's to allow each of these individuals to truly look at each other at themselves for themselves for who they truly are so that they can heal and they can go ahead and move forward together but both either one or both parties within this connection have not chosen have chosen not to take that time that was needed for self-love for self-care and instead of taking that time to hear them heal themselves they um were in an essence like obsessing with you know the next thing the next love the next car the next job the next this they were constantly trying to keep themselves busy in order not to have to heal anything and in order not to have to deal with anything so in an essence every time these two ended up coming back together they were exactly at the same place they were at the last time there was no growth there was no movement forward there was no anything and oh excuse me until these two individuals learn to just literally heal and to actually um, come to a place where they're both coming from a place of unconditional love and not from a place of, um, of manipulation, then no, there's going to be no change. This is going to be the, the same cycle that, you, that these two have lived for the past 10, 15, 20 years is the same cycle that they're going to continue on living for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years unless one or the other decides to completely walk away and heal themselves and decide to move on with their life because if both these people don't heal, then there's nothing new. And that's just the truth. That is just the simple truth, love. Nothing more than that. Life is not fair. Life is not meant to be fair. We come here to learn. We come here to experience. We come here to feel. And if we continue on repeating the same patterns, then we are, in an essence, going to continue on repeating the same mistakes. And... Those mistakes, we can look at them as mistakes or as challenges. Those challenges can be then turned into lessons, lessons that then we can help, we can use to help others that are coming along the way. But if we ourselves are not learning the lessons that we are to learn while we are in these trials, then we'll just keep repeating the same thing. It's just that simple. There's no trickery, there's no anything, it's just the truth, it's just a fact. Well, my beautiful Virgos, that is all that I have for you. I hope that everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you, as always, for joining me. Thank you for all the love and support, and I will see you guys real soon. Love you. Bye. And 